and welcome to Forkmasters vlog for the Warmer 4000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to another midway update today is the well today when I'm recording it it is the 7th of April 2023 but it's most likely, likely going to be uploaded somewhere around the 7th the 8th of April or 9th of April depending on how it's going to go with my video editing software programming so we're going to look at what I've been doing since the last IP update. As you can see I've started to assemble my enforcers and what's sticking out quite uh, definitely is that the, the head for my... this is going to be my... Uh, oh come on... zoom out... come on... Uh, this one is going to be my sergeant and this one is going to be my captain. He has the... oh let's see here if we can... He has the head of a uh, Janus Drake uh, that I applied. Unfortunately, I was stupid enough to cut off the um, things that's uh, around his neck that just look like he has a robe. And now it just looks very strange. And I hope that the model is going to be turning out good either way. But uh, yeah, so I, I saw a really cool conversion on. I don't know where I saw it, but it was really cool. So I decided I'm, I'm going to try that out. So, so there, here we have my 10. Enforcers that I will uh, put together. That's going to be a part of my uh, role-playing series. That's going to come out somewhere either next year or the year after that. It all depends on. I'm, I'm working around the clock, around the clock, uh, working as, smart, as fast as I can with my models. Uh, there was also a couple of uh, you got a, a couple of extra legs, and for that I decided to make some kill counter. Uh, like bases for where a couple of soldiers have died so this is gonna look like an explosion where they die here on the ground holding their weapons it's not the best work I would say but it works in order to just to make some kill counter uh, bases and and then moving on I've also put together this is like a mini storm priest that you're supposed to be having for your sisters of battle but I decided I, it's gonna be just a free model this is also a Sister of Battle that's supposed to be having a, a banner, but I decided I don't want to make a model with a huge banner. Uh, here we have the banner, in case you're wondering. Uh, I decided so I'm just going to make her a double swordsman that's going to be fighting for my Inquisitor. And speaking of Inquisitors, here we have Eisenhorn that's been, uh, what do you call it, um, spray painted, base coated. And here we have my, um, not original, well, he is an actual Inquisitor, and when, when I saw him online, I, I think he looks thought he looks cool, but I felt like uh, he looks a little bit old hammer. But once I got the model, he looks amazing, I would have to say. Uh, but I really think they should make more Inquisitor characters available, uh, and especially those that you can have customization around, so you can make your own type of uh, Inquisitor the way you want it. But yeah, so those are the models I've been putting together here during this week of Easter. And speaking of that, um, uh, I'm going to take a small break from uh, doing models. Uh, <laughs> you, think, you can feel like I'm doing it all the time. But uh, next week I'm going to go back into doing some gameplay, um, where I re re video record something. And I've already planned out most of the videos for... April now, so you're gonna have a lot of uh, one video per day to look forward to. You've already seen a couple of them here right now. But the question I'm gonna answer today is how do you celebrate Easter or how does Easter look in Sweden? And we have to go back then because uh, Easter, of course, is the Christian holiday. Uh, yada yada, Jesus died, you're de depressed, and all that. Uh, here in Sweden, you all, uh, yeah, I all often felt that uh, when we're, we're here on the on the first day, we call it the uh, cut first day, if you're going to translate it directly from Swedish into English. Cut first day, uh, the day when uh, the, the, the last supper happened. And then we have the long Friday. I don't know what it's called in English, but it's the long Friday, you know, the day when Jesus died. And then on the Monday, we have the secondary Easter day, uh, when we celebrated the return of Jesus. But here in Sweden, those are ready days, that means that you're off from work, which is quite, quite nice. And it's often accompanied together with the, an Easter break here in Sweden. In, in Sweden we have two breaks on the spring semester. We have first the sport break, which is, is somewhere in February, where you're supposed to be going off to doing sports and be off from school. Then we have the Easter break, which is somewhere in, around 
Mars or April depending on when the Sunday aligns with the moons and all that. Uh, but in Sweden also, uh, during the cut first day, uh, the day of the Last Supper, we usually dress up as witches. Uh, because here in Sweden we have an old tradition, um, because we back in the day we used to believe in witches, which you did in America too as well. Uh, and, but there was an, a common belief that during the Easter, all the witchers traveled to a place called Blue Kull, uh, or Blåkulla, where they uh, abducted children and ate them and all those crazy things. But So it became a tradition then that during the cut first day that you dress up as a witch and you go from house to house and ask for candy. So it's kind of like the Swedish version of Halloween, only that you don't dress up uh, in so many different ways as you only dress up in one sort of costume, the, the witches. Um, or Easter... Uh, each Easter bitches would be the uh, proper translation for... or påskkärringar as you call it. So they walk around, uh, ask for uh, candy and then you celebrate uh, with a pos uh, Easter lunch together with your family and such. So that's more or less the, the type of traditions that we have here in Sweden, or, or at least the traditions that I'm com uh, most used to. Going around asking for candy, being depressed on the Friday, and then eating f uh, dinner together with your family on their Saturday or Sunday, depending on which, yeah. Anyway, so how do you celebrate Easter where you come from? And um, for all of you uh, who are watching this, uh, Happy Easter, and also to, uh, to I don't remember what it's called in, Jew uh, in the Jewish religion, uh, uh, happy, um, happy, happy holiday to you too, and uh, happy Ramadan to those who are celebrating that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye bye.